I do. Um, uh, four of the stories are linked, and then the rest are linked, I think, thematically. There's a lot of stories set in Los Angeles, and um, I think thematically there's a lot of people who are outsiders, um, some obsessed characters uh, trying to do the right thing with the best intentions and somehow everything falls apart. Um, and I, I think, you know, looking back at, when you sit down to write a story, I don't think you always, you know, know ahead of time where you're going with it or what, what the theme is. And when you put a, a collection together, you're deciding on a theme kind of retroactively. Um, but I think there are a lot of obsessed characters, and um, the writer Steve Allman has this great um, quote that it's all about who, who do we care about, what do they care about, and that's the whole bag of marbles. So it almost doesn't matter what a character cares about, but if they really urgently are invested in it, then the reader often becomes as well. Initially, I did. I did feel that way when I started because, as I said, that idea of like trying to stay on the balance beam, stay, stay within the through line and not digress too much. Um, I work with index cards a lot with short stories, and I found that with the novel it was interesting. I still use the cards, but I use them a lot less, and so unmoored in a good way. It varies from circumstance to circumstance, but generally I get it as far as I can possibly get it before sending it to anyone. Um, and then I have a few, uh, few people that I, readers, friends that we swap writing back and forth, as well as my boyfriend who, well, is not a writer, is um, a film editor. And so he has a great sense about editing that's <laughs> transferable to literature. Well, I'm not sure I can recall the very first book that made me want to become a writer. As I said, I know Alice Munro was a huge inspiration, but a book that I read um, recently that made me want to continue to be a writer, and it's a classic, but I'd never picked it up, was uh, Mrs. Bridge by Evan S. Connell. And uh, it's just such an unusual book in terms of uh, exploring the interior world of a woman's life and a somewhat unlikable character at times but who I felt deeply moved by and I also think it's a great example of a, a novel that doesn't per se have a great deal of plot and yet by the end I kind of felt like oh, the weight of a human life like I'd really experienced this woman's journey through her life I think it's a terrific novel